Hi guys, this is Zizi here from Bagman Coaching and today we've got another episode, episode number 41 of Position of the Day. Uh, this is a money game, we own the cube, we are 15 pips up before the roll and we've got double twos to play from the bar. So pause the video if you want to think about this as I'm about to share the explanation and talk a little bit about some fundamentals, what is good to notice, what will maybe raise your confidence. So we've got double two, so one is clear, right? One is clear, we have to enter on the 23 point. And now always, as I always say, we need to realize what's happening in the game. What is going to happen? What can we expect? And well, first thing, what we should notice is that if well, we enter, and if we would have played something like eight, six, and let's say two down, or we would just choose to make the five point, what would happen? Well, our opponent would very likely make this, make this uh, five point, which would just put us in a very bad position, since he would improve to a very nice kind of semi-prime. So we wouldn't be happy. So that said, we should realize by, the, by now that we will hit. So now the question is how? So we are entering with one, and now probably the most important choice is, should we switch and play a2-6, so we would leave no shots, or should we hit loose on the deuce? Now, um, this may seem like a difficult problem, but there are a few things which, will, which you should look at, which you should always analyze over the board, and something, again, just differentiate how we always do, what futures do we have, what categories we have, and what's going to happen. So let me show you for, let me first show you the right decision. As we can see, hitting loose is pretty close. But uh, let me show you so I can put the final for the better imagination. So if we switch a point, by the way, then we would play 23-21 and not A to 6 because, well, if we play A to 6, what are we really hoping for? I mean, if he enters and makes a point, well, we are pretty much dead. And if he doesn't make a point, let's say, let's say he enters, do something or dances, well, we've got no power anyway. I mean, he will just enter. We don't put any pressure on him. So this would be just, uh, this would just not be a good move. Um, so at least we could step up and keep this kind of structure, which by the way, if we just think about it, why would we play a2-6? Uh, of course, for sure, if we know that we are not getting hit, we prefer this structure, right? Because we want to make points in the next row or hit or just build something, right? Why would we play a2-6? Do we actually have any reason? Because if he rolls like 3-5, which is the hitting number, well, that's playing for him anyway to make the five point, right? So five, five, another row, that was making the five point anyway, and we are dead anyway. So the really, I mean, the only like thing why we would play this was like double four, but well, still, you would just be dead anyway. So there will be like no reason at all to safety this checker. A to six wouldn't make sense if we, if we switch the points because, well, we are not like, we are not leaving him any extra good numbers. This is something key to realize here. This is something you want to be checking, yeah? Um, so, okay, we didn't go for this. So now, why not to switch? Well, if we think about it, of course, uh, it kind of plays a role. I mean, it uh, makes the difference bigger that it like, we can see a very beautiful duplication. And also, look what points we got. We got one point, four point, and six point. So if he rolls a one, four, or a six, so let's say he rolls five, one, five, four, five, six, he enters on a five, he doesn't have a one to play. He doesn't have a four to play. He doesn't have a six to play. So this is just the ideal distribution of our points because his numbers will not play well for him. And if he, if he hits, we don't mind that much. Anything except like double two, two, three, two, five, that we would of course mind, but like two, six, two, four, two, one, all seems okay. Yeah? So we are really 
playing against very very few numbers everything else we should be happy and we should just gain a lot uh, compared to this position if we do this well if he enters we are so weak right i mean we've got two deep points in uh, uh behind him and well how can we really upgrade uh anymore you know we can't really upgrade anymore so it will be very very di very difficult for us to bring those triggers around and then not leave shots so yeah let's just go for the power let's go for the biggest gain and that's the right decision uh second decision as we can see is six to two i mean it basically accomplishes the same thing as this one yeah so the big question really here was whether you want to switch or not and the reason is no you don't want to switch so hope you enjoyed and have a good day and i'll see you soon with another position of the day bye bye would you like to get better but you are not sure where to start Pygammon coaching offers you three options on how to get better first we just published a six hour Pygammon course about all parts of the game for intermediate and advanced players to improve second you can get an individual online lesson with me third analysis of your matches get your answers good and clear explanations to improve your game from the grandmaster for more information check out our website packamcoaching.com